In this video, we are going to look at some common reversing tools. Let's start out with an operating system. By far, the best choice for an operating system when doing reversing is Linux. Well, why is that? Linux is the operating system by programmers for programmers. And what that means is that virtually anything you would ever want in terms of reversing can be found on the Linux platform. Now, some of you might be thinking, but I wanted to do reversing on Windows applications. That's fine. We'll show you that it's very possible to do these things under Linux. Two ways that we can do this, one of which is to use a product called Wine. Now, Wine stands for Wine is not an emulator. And the purpose of Wine is to take Windows API calls and translate them into native Linux system calls. So you can actually have a Windows application that runs better and faster under Linux than it does under Windows. Not all applications, however. Some applications are a little bit picky, and you might have to run them inside of a virtual box which is another thing that you can easily do with Linux. Now, in order to do reversing, one of the things that you're definitely going to need is a good debugger. A common debugger is called immunity. So in order to get immunity, go online, run a search, or you could just go to debuggerimmunityinc.com and you will find that they have a couple of products available from Immunity, one of which is their debugger. So you can go ahead and click on download the latest debugger. You will need to enter your full name, address, email, company, and then you will be allowed to download. So I will go ahead and pause the video while I do this. And then when I come back, I will show you how to install it. I have downloaded the Immunity Debugger into my Downloads folder, and I've opened a terminal window. In order to install this, all I need to do is run Wine and then my Immunity Debugger setup program. Let this run. Incidentally, if you were to run this under Windows, be aware that you may also need to install Python 271 or higher. I accept their terms, and then it will, by default, install this under Program Files x86. Go ahead and click on Install, and it's done. So now, if I want to run this program from Linux, I have a couple of different options. So let me go ahead and minimize this window. And now, if I go to my files, and I look in my home directory, I want to go to the wine directory. Now, the wine directory will be preceded by a period, which is the default in Linux in order to hide a file or a directory. So you'll see it's not showing up for me here. So what I need to do is I need to adjust my settings. So if I click on view and I say show hidden files, now I will find the dot wine directory here, double click, and then I go to drive C and then to program files x86 and then to immunity inc, immunity debugger, and you'll see the immunity debugger exe file. I can simply click on this in order to run it, but I might want a shortcut out on my desktop. So how do I create that shortcut? right click on it, say make a link. Now I have this link in that same folder. I just drag it out on my desktop. Simple as that. If I want to run Immunity, all I need to do is double click and it will run the Immunity Debugger. Here I have the Immunity Debugger, which is running. We'll go into the details of Immunity in future videos. For this video, just to show you what it looks like, I'm going to go ahead and open another debugger. And this debugger is called Ollie Debug. Now, when you look at this, first of all, you're probably going to notice that the type is kind of small. We'll show you how to adjust that. But you'll see four facing windows. 
in this area here, you will see the disassembled code. And over here to the right, you will see various system registers. They're essentially high-speed memory areas in the CPU itself. Down here, you will see a hex dump of various memory locations that you can set. And then over here, you'll see something that will be very important for us, and that's something called the stack. We're going to take a brief break. When we come back, we'll discuss some more tools.